What's up guys, Rip here, and I just want to give you some tips as we head into closed network test number two for Tekken 8. Obviously, there's a lot to learn about this game. Of course, there's some new stuff, primarily the heat system, but these tips are gonna help you get in and get started learning any new character. So basically, number one, check out the move list, right? So when you load into a match, you're gonna to go to this like practice mode kind of area uh, after you pick your character, then you can go hit start, go to your move list and you can see this active main technique section and this is a new thing that they haven't had in the past and in this main technique section they actually talk about the different kinds of um, frame traps that your character may have as well as some basic core moves that are good for the character so it's a really really good addition to the generic move list that we usually have because usually you just look through there's like a hundred moves and you're like all right which one do I actually want to use you have to choose which ones are good or not the main techniques kind of simplifies this a little bit. Plus, like I said, it gives you some frame traps. So if you're looking like a Claudio, it'll say forward, forward, four. This move, when it's on counter, it can actually guarantee this move. You know, and that kind of a frame trap or guaranteed situation is good information that we wouldn't have gotten just from the move list before. So definitely check out the main techniques when you're checking out any new character. Number two, check out the combo challenges. So for the first time ever in Tekken, we now have combo challenges, right? They all start off the same way, hit a launcher, hit R1 for the heat burst, hit R1 for the heat smash, right? But as you go through it, it actually shows you different kinds of combos for different situations, and you get kind of the hang of like, what's your screw attack, what's your ender, you know, etc., etc. So definitely check out the combo challenges. You have to actually finish the combo to move on to the next one. So it's just like you expect from Street Fighter. That's super cool that they added this here. Number three, rollback settings. So if you go through the settings, you'll actually see that there's a setting for rollback and it's either standard or prioritized response. And basically, I think that everyone should just try out both settings. So play like 10 games with one, play 10 games with the other, see what you like more. Standard is gonna be very similar to Tekken 7 where you're not gonna see a lot of rollbacks, but like there's gonna be a little bit more delay, right? Prioritized response though, is gonna have minimal delay in terms of like when you hit a button, what you feel it on the screen. Uh, but it is gonna look more jittery, right? There's gonna be more rollbacks happening at any given moment. So check that setting out, see what you think. That way you can leave the feedback later. Number four, cross-platform play is gonna be enabled for the first time this weekend. So of course, you know, this means that PC, Xbox, and PlayStation will all be able to play against each other. Now, if you happen to have issues, say you're on PlayStation 5, right? And you're having issues with other systems, you know what, just disable the setting. Just play with PlayStation 5 if that's what you want. But I suggest everyone try this out and we'll see how the cross-platform play actually works in this game and last but not least number five activate heat heat as i mentioned is the big differentiator between tekken 7 and tekken 8 right and what you want to do there you know you get a heat every single round so all you have to do is hit r1 and that's going to do your heat burst when you're in heat hit r1 again that's your heat smash right and then from there you can learn how to do all of your heat engagers all your heat engagers when you're in heat are also heat dashes uh, if you don't know what your heat engages are, they actually put out these cards that have all the player information, all the character information, and it tells you what all of your heat engages are. These are going to be all the heat engages for all of the characters in this version of the game. If you go through the move list, maybe you'll find another one. You know, the move list and everything is not actually fully, fully complete. There's still a lot we're learning about the game. It seems like everything is in there for the most part, though, so definitely check this out use these cards as a quick reference guide so that's basically it guys enjoy your weekend playing the closed network test number two if you guys want to watch me i'll be streaming of course pretty much the whole weekend twitch.tv slash level up your game make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel because a lot more videos are going to be coming this way youtube.com level up your game click that subscribe button i will catch you guys next time boom